Good morning, Ludlow High School. I'm Zach Chipman. And I'm Yasmin Tells. Welcome to the Friday, May 19th edition of the Lion's Roar. Before we get into the show, could you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since the seniors all left, I'll be bringing you the show each week until the end of the school year. This week, Yasmin will be helping me out as a guest host. Let's start you out with a few announcements. Student parking for sophomores and juniors will be available on June 2nd at a cost of $10 cash or money order for the remainder of the school year. Students wishing to park must complete a parking application with a parent or guardian signature and supply a copy of their valid driver's license and registration. These forms may be picked up in the main office. Any questions, please see Mrs. Goodrow in the main office. Junior class of 2018, our class trip has been postponed to Wednesday, June 7th. Today is the last day that we will accept permission slips and payments for the trip to Newport, Rhode Island. Bring your permission slip with $38 cash or check to Mrs. Sands or Mrs. Valentine's by the end of the day. If we do not have enough students to fill two buses, then the trip will be canceled. Also, juniors, we need your help with this year's Senior Farewell. If you are interested in participating in Senior Farewell, then you must sign up in Mrs. Valentine's room by Monday, May 22nd. If you do not participate in Senior Farewell, then you will not be able to see or attend. Our first rehearsal is Tuesday, May 23rd, right after school in the auditorium. Recently, the LHS Chorus and Band both put on their annual spring performance here in the LHS Auditorium. As always, there was a great turnout and performances were entertaining. If you missed them, here's a few short clips from both. Now let's check out next week's lunch menu. Monday is pulled pork on a roll, noodles, baked beans, and fruit. Tuesday we're having a chicken salad wrap, chips, carrots, and fruit. On Wednesday it's Swedish meatballs, noodles, garlic bread, peas, and fruit. Thursday is manager's choice, and finally on Friday we'll have pizza, broccoli with cheese sauce, and fruit. Now let's check out this weekend's weather forecast. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 48. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 71 and a low of 45. Sunday will be a high of 71 and a low of 53, mostly sunny. I'll kick it back to myself. Let's update you on some scores from this past weekend. On Friday, the boys tennis team lost their match to Agwan by a score of 3 to 2. On Monday, the boys volleyball team lost 3 to 0 to Chicopee Comp and the girls tennis team shut out East Long Meadows. Also on Monday, the softball team lost to Turner's Falls by a score of 11 to 1. On Tuesday, the boys and girls track team both competed against Amherst. The boys won their meet 73-68 to and the girls won 73-62. to Also on Tuesday, the baseball team had a close win over Central by a score of 4-3. to Now let's head over for some games happening this weekend. Today, the girls tennis team will head to Chicopee for their match at 4 p.m. The boys and girls track teams will go to Holyoke to take part in the PVIAC championship beginning at 4.30. Lastly, the boys volleyball team will take on Minichog at home at 6. Before we go, we'd like to congratulate this week's LHS Athlete of the Week, Jillian Allaire. Jillian is a member of the Unified Track Team and was nominated for her tremendous dedication and hard work in every practice and meet. Congratulations, Jillian. Well, that's it for this week's show. I'm Yasmin Tells. And I'm Zach Chipman. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you all next week.